This is the Bivifiori portable 12 volt tire inflator. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the user manual. They give you the power cord. Interesting on this is that it is detachable. It goes to a barrel jack connector which just plugs in the unit. In here they give you a bunch of different nozzles, ball inflators, things like that, extra fuses just in case, which would go in the uh, cigarette lighter plug there, and also a Schrader to press the valve adapter. And they give you the hose, which screws into the unit, has your standard tire chuck on it that closes like that for typical Schrader valve tires. Here is the unit itself. Interesting design, brightly colored. There's an LED light on there that uh, you can use to see what's going on. Your connection for power and the hose connection is right there. Your control panel and display is right there. And conveniently, a nice pouch to store everything in. So I've now attached the hose and the power cable right here. The power cable and the hose are extra long. If you take a look at this, this is way longer than most other tire inflators out there. So this way you'll have a lot of extra play in everything so you can reach those back tires of your oversized SUV. I've just powered this up temporarily just so you could see the display because I don't think the camera angle outside when I bring this to the car is going to do much justice. But basically the way it works here is you can press the S button to change the units. Yeah, bar, kilopascals, uh, centimeters of mercury, and PSI. I'm going to leave it there because that's what we use here in the States. The M button will change what they call the scene. You see there's a little picture of a car there. We'll press it again. There's another picture. I'm not sure what it's depicting. Maybe a ball there, m bicycle, motorcycle, stuff like that. The whole idea of that is you can set different pressures for different scenes. If you're one person and you have a bicycle and a car, you can set the pressure for your bicycle tires in there and it'll remember that. Set the pressure for your car tires under the car and it'll remember that. And then all you have to do is just press the M button to get to either the bicycle when you're filling the bicycle or the car when you're filling the car and it'll automatically go. With this connected to the tire you will see the current pressure on the screen here. You can then use the buttons, the plus and minus buttons, to run that up to the pressure that you want and then once it's there and it's set you hit the power button it'll start up. You also have a light button over here that you can press it'll turn the light on. Um, not terribly bright but certainly bright enough for you to see to connect the unit to your tire so it's there and it works for you it does everything it's supposed to so now we're going to take this out to the car i'll deflate the tire some and then we'll fill it up with this and see how it does this couldn't have even worked out any better i wanted to show you how nice it is having a long hose let me take this off and now you'll see This can easily reach the tire without any problem. So I'll go ahead and put that on. And the display says 28.5. I'm going to run that down to 24 PSI. And I'm going to pump it with 10 PSI to get it to 34. And then we'll get started. Now I will say that outside, the display is a little bit hard to read. Not impossible. You can certainly see it, but if it were brighter, it definitely would have made it a lot easier. So I'm going to hit the plus and minus buttons, 34. What happens is the number flashes for a moment and then goes back to the current pressure, which is 24. And now we'll hit the power button and we'll see how long this is going to take.
34 exactly. That did a fine job. Now that wasn't a long wait at all. I've already put the uh, time on the screen for how long it took for it to fill. Not bad. If you only need to wait that short amount of time to get back on the road, knowing that you don't have a low tire anymore, that's time well spent right there. These tire inflators have really come a long way from the old school ones with an analog gauge on it that was nowhere near being close to accurate within 20 PSI to what we have now with the digital display and the best part is setting the pressure letting it run and it'll automatically shut when it's reached it so you can just lean up against the car diddle on your phone and just wait and when the sound stops you know it's ready and that's it they work great nice small size easy to keep in the trunk of the car you never know when you're going to have a low tire maybe you get that tpms light come on something like that you can go and hook this up to each tire find out which one's low if you can't tell immediately from it and then fill it up and be back on the road in just a matter of minutes so once again this was the Bivifiori portable 12 volt tire inflator if you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon thanks for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care we'll see you next time bye bye